Hey guys, welcome to The Station Bakery. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for joining me again today. You know, you know, pricing is always, you know, a big issue in our baking community, but I am here to share with you the tools and things that I use to help me be confident in my pricing. My first tool to help me with pricing is an app called Filet. This app helps me to cost out my ingredients to see how much it costs for me to make a product. I'm also able to see how much profit I am able to make off of that product. I sell a cake for $5. I am able to see that it costs me $4 to make that cake and my profit is $1 and I'm able to adjust my pricing from there. Another great feature is that you are able to compare vendors. You want to look at multiple vendors to see who has the best prices? So while I get my eggs from here, I'm going to get my flour from there. Filet has really been a game changer and has made the process of me pricing so much easier. But not only that, I know for a fact that I'm making a profit. The next tool on my list is Classic. I don't think this will ever go out of date and I will forever use this in my business. Nothing can beat having a planner, a place where you can organize your ideas and your thoughts and you can see everything that's going on in your business. I like to use a generic paper in my hand, pen to paper, planner but there are also digital ones out there as well i am able to keep track of my base prices for my most common items in my business so for example i mainly sell cakes i know that i sell six inch eight inch and then six eight inch tiered cakes so in my planner, I write down my base price. Uh, how much should I charge? What should I do? No, I no longer have to stress about how much I should charge for this cake because it's already been planned out and written in my planner for me to have easy reference to whenever I need it. Another way that I use my planner that helps me with pricing is being able to know how many orders I have for the week and not overloading myself. While yes, having more clients can mean more money, but it will also mean more stress, I'm also able to schedule out when I want to run a promotional sale for the season. This helps me to know that during this time, I am not taking any custom orders because I'm only focusing on these types of orders. The next tool on my list is Square. Square has made the process for taking custom orders super easy. So it takes out all of those extra steps of having them fill out a form and then sending them a link or my cash app or PayPal or some other payment method out of the equation completely. Everything is done in one place. I am able to go and create the invoice with all of the information, include the amount, and then send it directly to the customer where they have instant access to make the payment right there. Another great thing that helps me with Square is the fact that I am able to keep track of what's selling and what's not selling in my business. So I know the things that I need to boost and push more and the things that I need to cut from my menu. The most important tool that I use to help me with pricing is confidence. Having confidence really changes the game for you and your business. I know it definitely has for me. Being confident in your pricing will really help you in those moments when someone is telling you, hey, you're not charging right. You need to charge more. Or even those times when your clients say, hey, that's way too expensive. You know that you are pricing correctly for the products that you are providing. All in all, no one can really tell you what to charge for your items. They can only give you tips and points just to help you get to the place where you feel confident in your products and what you're selling them for. I hope that the tools that I have shared with you today will help you to go out and be confident in pricing your products correctly to where you make a profit. If you feel like I've given you some great tools to help you with pricing, please be sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment letting me know what is one of the tools that you are thinking about implementing right now for your business if you have some ideas or other things that you have used please feel free to drop them in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time peace